Hello and welcome to another episode of Wonders of Chemistry with Mickey G and today we'll be looking at the concept of lipogenesis as an example of metabolic energy overspill within a cell. So when you consume things like carbohydrates at the end of digestion you end up with glucose. Glucose enters into the bloodstream and eventually makes it to a cell where it's transported into the cytosol. So glucose enters into the cytosol and from the cytosol enters into a number of metabolic pathways, but primarily it enters into glycolysis. Glucose is then converted and eventually gives acetyl-CoA, which then enters into mitochondrial respiration. More specifically, the citric acid cycle, which then feeds into the electron transport chain. And then those electrons are used to pump protons into the intermembranous space. Those protons then create an electrochemical gradient, which then drives a new pathway called oxidative phosphorylation that generates ATP. So a cell will generally only produce enough ATP to cover its cellular needs. Above and beyond this, if excess glucose enters into the cell, the cell will store this glucose in the form of glycogen. Now, in order to produce glycogen, we enter into a new metabolic pathway called glycogenesis, which requires ATP. Recall how glycogenesis is an anabolic process, and anabolic processes require energy. So some of that glucose will be converted to ATP in order to, to facilitate the remainder of that glucose to be converted into that energy-rich storage material that we know as glycogen within cells. Now there will be a point where your glycogen stores within a cell become maxed out. At that point, glucose cannot be converted into glycogen anymore. However, glucose is still producing whopping amounts of acetyl-CoA. In fact, the amounts are so large that the citric acid cycle is choking. In order to overcome this, the metabolism within a cell has an overspill mechanism and that overspill mechanism drives acetyl-CoA into a new metabolic pathway which again requires ATP because it's anabolic called lipogenesis and that excess acetyl-CoA is used to create fat. For example triglycerides. In short Lipogenesis acts as an overspill mechanism that takes away some of that burden away from the citric acid cycle in terms of the acetyl-CoA's that are backing up within the metabolism. So in summary, glucose initially enters into a cell and produces enough ATP to cover its cellular needs. Above and beyond this, that glucose enters into a process called glycogenesis that stores that excess energy in the form of glycogen. Once those glycogen levels are full, the acetyl-CoA that's generated from the breakdown of glucose accumulates and is fed into an overspill mechanism called lipogenesis that converts that acetyl-CoA into fat. Now if this happens to be in the liver, this could lead to issues such as fatty liver disease. In addition, a lot of those fats can be released into the bloodstream. So individuals that have high blood sugar levels could be exhibiting markers of cardiovascular disease, such as elevated triglycerides and elevated VLDL cholesterol. 